So that would mean that all the Flynn stuff not actually was staged, because most probably it was real, but was planned exactly that way. Welcome back to Motoganda and first of all, sorry you didn't hear much from me in the past two weeks, but I was kind of busy with another project and basically I, I am still busy on it. So I will anyway try to keep it more like once a week, but can't really promise that at the moment. But anyway, we now have a new topic to discuss, unfortunately in that case, I have to say. Of course, it looks like Trump now joined the previous presidents in becoming a war criminal. And why am I saying it that straight out? Well, of course he deployed ground troops in Syria. And I'm actually wondering why that is. Of course, doesn't he know better? If I remember correctly, uh, during his rally, he was saying, yeah, I'm gonna bring the troops back home and I'm gonna decrease the involvement in NATO and all that sounded quite nice, having less wars and less regime change stuff going on. And now he is deploying ground troops in Syria. Officially, obviously, to fight ISIS. Well, so far the unofficial agenda was more like getting rid of Assad. But well, how does it make him a war criminal? Well, he even knows himself and pointed that out during his rally as well that the only ones legally fighting in Syria, I mean obviously apart from the Syrian army, are the Russians. Of course they were officially invited or asked for help. So any US involvement, unless obviously I missed where Assad invited the US troops in, any US involvement means an illegal invasion. Nothing more and nothing less. So unfortunately here Trump is already breaking, as far as I know, the first time, but definitely breaking his promises to get less involved and to stop with the regime change agenda. And what I personally find weird as well is the timing. I mean, how long ago Flynn had to resign due to the bad talks with the Russians and the promises made up front? Which, in my opinion, isn't really a bad thing, but anyway. So basically Flynn is out and just shortly after we have a change in the agenda again from not getting involved into more wars or more involved into ongoing wars to, well, let's send ground troops. And to me personally, Flynn never looked kind of the peaceful guy or the no war guy. So I was always wondering why Trump got Flynn in, but how it looks now to me, I don't have any proof for that so far. And I don't even remember right now what uh, who the replacement of Flynn is. But it looks to me at least like 
Flynn was still kind of a too peaceful guy, so he had to get out for the wars to go on. I mean, I might be wrong there, might be just some coincidence, but I don't think so. But what does that tell us? Well, there's actually two options. And I don't have yet a preferred option or whatever, but obviously you can tell me down there in the comments what you think, what is more likely, or even if you have some proof or you're very welcome to put it down there. So the two options are either option A, Trump really wanted to go to deploy forces there and wanted to go and continue the regime change attempt in Syria. Or wait, sorry, the ISIS fighting obviously. And option B would be, well, he didn't really want to and the military industrial complex obviously wants to go to war and therefore had to put Flynn out because Flynn was well in line with Trump or accepting Trump's decision not to go to war and now with the new guy they have someone who wants to go to war so that would mean that all the Flynn stuff not actually was staged of course most probably it was real but was planned exactly that way but as I said, you're very welcome to put down in the comments what you think about it. Or if you have any additional information, obviously, you're more than welcome as well to put it down there in the comments. So even if I don't really like the fact that I have to report on this one, I think at least it proves the point that I'm not entirely and blind following Trump and liking everything he does, what I've kind of done so far, or most of it, but that I also will be critic, as I pointed out a couple of videos earlier, if he does something which I think is bad or which goes against what he promised, I will report it. So that's it already for this video. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did so, then give it a thumbs up and share it all over the internet and social media and with all your friends. As I pointed out already, if you have anything to say, you're very welcome to put it down there in the comment box. And obviously, if you didn't yet subscribe, do so and don't forget to use that bell button as well. And I see you in the next video.